it's important to recognize that Industry 4.0 has a specific definition. It comes from a specific place. The term Industry 4.0 was coined in Germany in 2011 in Hanover by German Trade and Investment. Industry 4.0 is a paradigm shift made possible by technological advances which constitute a reversal of conventional production process logic. Simply put, this means that industrial production machinery no longer simply processes the product, but that the product instead communicates with machinery to tell it exactly what to do. So in its actual use, Industry 4.0 represents a broader instantiation of Internet of Things concepts to take on the entire manufacturing cycle. So the definition of Industry 4.0 is both broader and more inclusive than that of Internet of Things. It completes the circuit by going from physical to digital and back to physical through the deployment of advanced manufacturing technologies such as additive manufacturing, robots, drones, perhaps advanced materials. It's this inclusiveness that allows us to describe the full spectrum of capability through Industry 4.0. Industry 4.0 is a really useful vision that highlights the potential of new technology, of new business models and new skills to introduce productivity to manufacturing. Indeed, productivity that could be so significant we might look back on it and call it a fourth industrial revolution. It can be seen as being broader than just one aspect in the sense that uh, I think a major contribution of cyber physical systems and industry 4.0 is to, to close the, um, the space or integrate between different systems and have through life knowledge um, retention so that uh, a common engineering model can be retained and used throughout the life cycle phases and uh, hence data that might be used during production can also be used to inform engineering services and the product which is produced and carries, if you like, knowledge and information with it. That knowledge and information can then be utilised at the later stages and in the product's use and later potential reuse in a, in a consistent way. So Industry 4 will impact all aspects of the manufacturing business in the future, from design to make to service and indeed supply. It introduces the concept of a virtual model for the product, virtual for the factory, and indeed opens up opportunities for the way in which the manufacturer connects with its customer. In short, smart products made in smart factories connected to smart supply chains. Industry 4.0 was developed as a picture of the future that stretches out for 20 years or more. What it means, however, is that it has to be built on many of the technologies that are already available today. And as the American author William Gibson once wrote, I'd suggest that the future has already arrived, it's just not very evenly distributed yet. The digital enterprise of the future, I think that we can already see, will be based on four key pillars. A data backbone consistent across the organisation, data connectivity through a network like Profinet based on IP standards of today, data services to better extract and exploit data from the organisation to turn that into useful information, and finally, of course, data security concepts to make sure that in the future we can do this in a safe and secure environment. I would estimate that between 20 and 50% savings might be achieved. Um, at the top end, if you've, if you've got um, a requirement for great agility, there's lots of change in the product and, and customization. You can probably um, save a lot really in the reconfiguration, reuse of the production equipment or indeed ch dynamic changes in the product. Um, and this would you know, show tremendous savings, if you like, over perhaps conventional approaches where knowledge isn't retained and reused in successive products or there are time delays or commissioning delays due to inconsistencies um, inherent in you know, adapting to change. I think the question isn't so much around cost saving, so much as productivity, it's both sides of the cost reduction and indeed growth that are helped by Industry 4. The early vision asked the question, could 50% productivity improvement be achieved with 50% fewer resources? Recent work by Akatech identifies Industry 4 could introduce a 30% productivity improvement, but indeed even the work being undertaken today by Copenhagen Business School identifies an industrial productivity improvement in the UK of over 
if the UK were to automate across its sectors to the same extent as leading uh, economies today. So these are fairly sizeable numbers, but the benefit to each sector will depend very much on their start point and the extent to which they are able to either virtualize or create self-organizing factories or use that data in their service and supply chain operations. Well, it's hard to say what too fast would actually mean. After all, we do need to get started on this vision. What we don't want to be is precipitous. We want to be thoughtful in the way we approach these kinds of issues. So there's a couple of things to think about. Number one, go back and think about bits and atoms. Both are important. Industry 4.0 is about the integration of the IT with the OT. Number two, think critically about your strategic position and how competitive ecosystems can undermine it or how an ecosystem partner can shift the bottleneck so that they, rather than you, reap the benefit of the value created. Build capabilities with both the IT and the OT. Both will be important. And last, recognize that the pace of change is very likely to continue. Failure to choose is a decision to fall behind. It's time to get started.